okay. This is a tour of the North Parade. There's already been a free to parade that's passed about 20, 25 minutes ago. And now we're having another parade marching down. I'm sure you can hear it. It's on its way down now. Uh, I mean, most people recognise this chapel from what happened last year outside it and the disrespect shown. Uh, and these residents, really, what they're asking for is dialogue to get this resolved. And I think it's totally reasonable. Um, so hopefully tonight passes peacefully. Just um, tell us what, what you understand happened here. Well, let me put it this way. Absolutely disgusted with the behaviour that took place in Carrick Hill tonight. First and foremost, the Parades Commission determinations tore up again, threw back in their faces, and then we have this episode out the front, at the opposite end of Carrick Hill, where the orange people were allowed to come through the car park into Carrick Hill itself. But what's more, more angry about this is the very fact we told the police this was going to happen. Nobody did nothing about it. With the result, look at Carrie Kill now. Look at the angry people here. These are people that stood out there on a peaceful, dignified protest, and this is what they get paid. This is the result of it. This community is angry, disgusted, disgusted with the Parades Commission. For the very fact that they have issued two more determinations for parades on the 30th and the 4th of July to allow the orange men to come down there playing hymns. Anybody that's seen that exhibition tonight in the front of St. Patrick's Church, spitting at the church, half from the Pope, the lot, and then they end up with this at the front of Carrie Hill, and people from Carrie Hill have been pushed left, right and centre. Do, do you feel that there was an overreaction from residents here? Do you feel that there was an overreaction from residents here to, to cause this? No overreaction from the residents here. The residents were informed in a peaceful, dignified protest in Clifton Street. They were still in Clifton Street when the bands come up Peters Hill and come through the car parks on their supporters. That's what caused this. And the people from that end of Carrick Hill ran to this end to protect their homes. And what they met with a wall of policemen pushing them back, manhandling them, pushing them all over the place. That isn't good enough and this community is not going to accept it. And this Parades Commission needs to catch itself on. You can't ponder this. You either sort this out or you don't sort it out. You can't have this here. The start of the marching season, we'll be here to the 1st of December doing the same type of interviews. It needs sorted, it needs sorted now. And all this pomp over this GA conference, come into the streets of Carry Hill and elsewhere, and then you'll see what it's really like in the north of Ireland. Thank you, Frank. Who's in charge? Who's in charge? Who's in charge? 
This guy took me on his back for at least a hundred yards and I let the grab here. Drove these, these people nuts for a play them on the basis that he was driving me in the cabin down here. Animal, I tried to stop one of the jeeps to talk to him. The guy opened the jeep. I says, there's somebody in the back, I need to talk to you about it. He says, we're pulling over here. Jamie, I've got equality. I walked, I walked out of the way. Yeah. He drove away off. I tried to stop the next jeep. Did the same thing. When I started there, he drove. When I, was on, when I was holding on the jeep, from that corner there, yeah. that what that what you expect from the people who's, who's wanting to. That's true. Right. Well, that will be dealt with at school time. You, you know, no, 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 it will. No. No. You have to give an excuse. You know, you know you can make a complaint to the Ombudsman about it. Let's not talk about it. Listen, don't talk about it. It will be dealt with. No, I'm talking to you as the person in charge, not the Ombudsman, and I want it dealt with now. The way it will be dealt with, that truck has to go back to the station with an arrested person. That, 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 that person, that person, he was arrested because there's footage of him, raddest behaviour. I don't know what age he is. I don't know what age he is. But you lifted him what, for what, 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 his parents will be you, brought to the station. Are you telling me that there's, there's something in that day? Because I was told it was the other day. I don't know, I've arrived here. I've arrived here. I know where you've got a person. Just to be sure. I don't believe he is an admirable attack here. Right, would you please? There's a person arrested, and that he was arrested because there's footage of him for Radis Baker. Well, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Well, I, I can't comment on that. I work in France. Well, get him out of here, Jim. Don't come over here. I don't think he's in that chair. Right in the camera. Go to the driver. 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 Go to the I don't know what he is, the kid is in the jeep, but the thing to do was to talk to his mother. His mother identified herself to him. He should have talked to her. He actually said to me, that's how I ended up in that jeep, he said to me that I'll pull in here and take, and take uh, details off the mother. So I actually argued with some of these young people here to pull away from it, to pull away from it, to let him pull in. He drove in straight down there, which is the reason that I went to the next jeep to try and stop him and talk to him. Now, it is no way, I have to say, I said, there's no way to talk to him like a representative, especially when we're here to try and calm things down and try and sort this out. No, I know, I know you're trying to calm well, things down. I, I, well, can well, I have this man identified? The Kenner of the Jeep man? Yes. No. Can I have him identified? Yeah. Kenner of the Jeep? Yeah. He's not on that Jeep. I'm going to tap the murder over there and I'm going to tap the murder. He's not on the Jeep. He's not on the Jeep. Where's Jeep? Does anybody know where the mother is? Does anybody know where the mother is? Do you know where the mother is? Ah, uh, it's the other jeep. It's the other jeep. No, he's in the first one. Excuse me. Are you in charge? Yes. I have kids and I live over there. Are you happy from the drive up here after we drove it there now? I didn't see what we drove the vehicle. Well, I've already arrived here. So. There was, there was other the, the person in there. I was a part of that happy. He's a Curtis driver. Well, we'll sort that out. We'll no, get I never. Well, that's no good to me if my take is not ten feet down the fucking road. It will be dealt with. Come on, brothers and sisters. This is here. The young fella is down in Grafton Road Parks. His mother and father are here, hanging down with him sorry, sorry, in the Grafton Road Parks. Okay. He can't get him out. Just go move this land forward, okay? Just uh, to make just, every... That's just, not real legal. Get that wee clamper. We're asking the jeeps to pull away. So we want you to just go off, right? <laughs> All right. And well done. Thanks for coming down. Thanks for it. Okay. Well, what happened after the prayer went up and that went off fairly reasonably quiet. Um, what happened, there was a breach down here until uh, Stephen Street and uh, a couple of uh, Catholic doors were kicked in by loyalists and uh, people come down when they seen that and there was, uh, well, there was a confrontation here. The police then came and when some young lad was arrested, I think he's age 16, uh, his mother uh, remonstrated with me. I went to the jeep to try and get talk to the person in the jeep. The guy opened the jeep. I said, I need to talk to you about that. He says, I'm going to pull in here and talk to you about it. And instead of pulling in, I, I walked out of the way. Instead of pulling in, he drove off. So I went to stop the next jeep. 
or the, or the second jeep and when I stopped that I said I need to talk, I need to talk to the person in charge, I identified who it was uh, in case they didn't know and instead of stopping uh, he drove towards, he, I was actually right against the jeep and he tried to drive off, I held on to the grill uh, which, which sits in front of the, the metal grill and he drove about, I, I suppose it's about from here down to there, it's about 50 yards with me uh, on, on the grill. And then the crowd, it was actually the crowd uh, who came running down when they seen that, who got him to stop. Uh, it's a ridiculous situation, he knew who I was, I would assume, I'm fairly well known, in the area at least, and, uh, and yet he was determined to drive off. Besides anything else, it's very dangerous, and of course, he ended up creating a crowd here of some hundreds when uh, what we were trying to do was de-escalate the situation and trying to find out what happened for the mother, what happened to this young uh, juvenile. Well, what happens now is I'm going down, I'm going down with the parents. I understand the young fella is in the barracks. I'm going to go down with the parents. Uh, one of the parents, the woman, had to run at least a half a mile up the Carlisle Circus following the jeep. And I want an explanation of this. I've tried to get an explanation up the now. I haven't been able to do it. So I'm going down to the barracks now to make sure that the parents are all right and that the young fella is all right and see what happens from that. Okay?